What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel as today we're bringing in one of Dead by Daylight's totally favorite killers and um, people totally don't hate mending simulator P people love playing Legion thumbs up to the Legion yeah but today we are giving the Legion magical powers the Legion have learned how to control magic from the hag and the blight the legion have gained hex perks that's right it's a full hex legion build with four hexes that really just combo well with the legion and their playstyle. starting with hex blood favor and whenever we injure a survivor any pallets within 32 meters of that injured survivor will be blocked off for the next 15 seconds now the legion has their frenzy to hit multiple survivors in a single go and to with that we have hex third seal and anytime a survivor is hit by a basic or special attack and the frenzy counts as a special those survivors will suffer from the blindness status effect making it so if they have windows of opportunity they can't see pallets if they have deja vu they can't see generators and they can't see their teammates on hooks any aura gone but now legion like i said hits people and hits them quick so we have hex face the darkness and whenever a survivor is injured by any means such as our frenzy a dull totem will activate face the darkness and every 25 seconds every survivor outside of our terror radius will scream and reveal their aura now this will make it so if they're on a totem they're getting off of it if they're trying to mend they're getting interrupted all that fun stuff but why does that matter because we want to keep these totems as long as possible so we have thrill of the hunt and for every totem remaining on the map we get a nice 10 percent blood point bonus in the hunter category but the part we're focusing on is survivors cleansing and blessing speeds are reduced by 10 percent for each token which means every time they try and cleanse or bless a totem while face the darkness is active there is a very strong chance of that cleanse being interrupted which is massive for us and then for add-ons we just have the perfect duo of the never sleep pills which will make our frenzy speed 4.6 meters but we gain an additional 10 seconds but we're going to be moving faster with that thanks to the mural sketch which will increase our bonus hit speed by 0.3 meters per second letting us go faster and faster and we'll be able to keep the frenzy going longer to hopefully hit all survivors and get all value out of our perks this should be a chaotic build and this should be a fun build let's check it out let's get to the games and i'm sorry to the survivors that have to play against this okay we're on larry's which normally i don't think is very good legion map a lot of vaults a lot of pallets but for totems could be worse well, let's let's see what we can do here i guess Stab on one. Two. Sprint burst on number three. This fourth one is, uh, got a balanced landing. Four. Let's go. All four. We have third seal right away. And Ripley's down. Whew. Solid first frenzy. Put you in that corner and let the game begin. The Meg already DC'd. Rebecca, I'm gonna need you to get off of uh, my totem here. Uh, 
Uh, the mag just fell. And there's Nia. Up you go. The, the bot's down at the hook. Okay. Well. She broke free at the hook. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay, well. That was a game. So yeah, this is the Hex build. Pretty powerful. Uh, let's, let's do this one more time. All right, we got RPD and it already looks like we got some pretty bad totem placement. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen that one in that corner before. Uh, that one outside is doomed. And then, where's our third? I don't know, there's a Nia here. Oh, it's over there. Hit the Nia. Move to the Michaela. Oh. Do that. Do that. Are we going to chain all of them together? Maybe not. She has a sprint burst to get away. Ah, oh, we're close. Boom! Boom, blood favor! No pilot for you. We saw someone's aura coming this way. Yeah, they want this totem. Oh, hi, Meg. Uh, we'll put you upstairs. Oh, we just put her right next to a totem, I think. Yeah, we did. Uh-oh. Oh, Fang, good to see you again. But we're gonna go pay Michaela a visit. I don't want her on my totem. Ooh, she read that. That's unfortunate. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna make me whiff. You're gonna make me whiff twice! You're gonna stun me twice with two whiffs! We get our revenge. It's fine. Uh, this is where you go. Oh, she went around. Okay, um... This Meg is certainly something. I think she's just done. I think this Meg is already done. They saved Michaela. Let's go head that way. Bruh, she wants that gen.
All right, we're just gonna. This is library palette. We're just probably gonna have to bloodlust this one. I can't believe we just missed that. Wow. Well, it's alright, we get her here. And they got Face the Darkness is done. Oh. Not at all what I wanted was to fall there. Oh, there goes Thrill of the Hunt. They are attacking the totems now. Our two best ones are all that remain. Our two defenses are down. We only have our offense. But we're about to kill this Meg, so... That's a bonus. You know, despite third seal, these guys are very good at finding each other and getting the unhooks. I'm willing to bet two, if not the remaining three, are all in a swift. Alright, get Nia. There's a gen being worked on above me. And Kayla, what's up? Up you go. Like, right to the hook. No questioning which one it is. So long, friend. At least we have Blood Favor to counter their probable comms. Nia, where are you going? Now, you know, there's a chance Michaela can do five gens. Now, she does have the good palette here. But, we're better than the palette. And I don't think Michaela ever came to this side of the map. Let's get Nia on a hook and then go explore around. Oh yeah, there's scratch marks right there. Oh, the scratch marks went outside, and she got blood favor. I followed them the wrong way. And she got the hatch. GG's.